of Aries. So this is um, Ubuntu on mobile. Um, it's really cool. Like the interface is completely optimized for the mobile and has some really new, innovative ways of interacting. Um, so what you see over here is the welcome screen. Uh, it, has, it gives a personal touch to your experience, so it shows your uh, data visualized in a very nice way without revealing any private data. Um, so what you see also is that there's no hard key buttons and no software buttons. Uh, everything is designed around the edges. So the edges basically are the key interaction paradigms and allow the user to interact really fast with the phone. So for example, I can go over here and I have uh, the, the launch on the left side and I see my favorite apps. So what we found was that the many uh, users only use a couple of apps really often. So the user can put these in this to launch, in the launcher basically and launch them from, from there very quickly. So when I use this one, I go to the home screen. Right? This is the home screen. Uh, over here I see my frequently used apps, uh, my missed calls, basically, and my, also my contents. Uh, when I go to the, over here, I see people. So this is an aggregated view of all my, uh, um, my communication. So I see my um, contacts, my Facebook contacts, uh, um, all in one overview. And I'm basically um, over here my music, and also uh, music that I can buy from content stores. Uh, when I go to, uh, to the other side, I have uh, um, all my apps, also my, no view of my running apps, my frequently used apps, uh, and installed apps, and also apps for download. And then when I go to, um, I want to further my video, so the videos I recorded, for example, and also um, uh, featured videos that I might want to buy or, or, or rent. So, um, what's really cool is that uh, Ubuntu both has uh, web apps and native apps. So, web apps, for example, Facebook, um, where you go to, to a mobile site. I cannot show it on now because it's like a, the Wi-Fi is down. Uh, but for example, the, the gallery is um, is a, a native app, and basically for like uh, apps that require high performance. Therefore, we have a combination of both native and, and web apps. So, for example, this is the gallery app. I can scroll down, right? Um, as you would expect, uh, I see more pictures uh, over here. Um, what's really cool is that. Um, we designed the interface um, such that there are no, no controls in the interface that obscure the user from looking at the content, right? So when I start scrolling, the header goes away. Um, when I scroll back, the header comes back so I can, for example, change to a uh, photos overview. I go to events, right? Uh, that header goes away again. And, when, and for example, when I open a picture, you don't see any controls. But when I want to do something with the picture, I can basically swipe on the bottom and I have some extra controls. Like, for example, I can edit stuff. I can delete the picture if I want, or even uh, I share. Uh, if I want to share to Facebook, I can, I can share menu, right? So it, uh, hi. Oh, there you go. Hi. Post it. There you go. I can go back. I can a notification now, right? Go back to the gallery app, right? The other, the other really cool thing is um, uh, what we saw was that uh, when users, for example, are in apps and using apps, uh, sometimes they want to change settings, right? So, for example, the Wi-Fi or the brightness of the screen. Right. And uh, on other platforms, you often have to go back to the home screen, go to the settings app, and dive in. So, we thought the there has to be a quicker and nicer way to do it. So what we did is we used the, the top edge for that. So for example, I go over here and I can immediately select the settings that I want to oh, use, wow. right? Okay. So for example, I can select the battery and I can uh, bring it down and I have some, I have some settings from battery I, that I can adjust. We also embedded the messages in there, so I have an aggregated view of my messages. Uh, for example, over here I have missed call, I can I reply back immediately. So we also don't wanted to bring the immediate controls into this interface so you just go to different screens all within the same screen right uh, or for example when I want to reply to a message I can do it here and when I'm done basically I bring it back up and back in my app right cool. so basically this is so this, we use the top edge for that and then um, launch it go back to the home screen right uh, open apps uh, I can I go back to my gallery what's really cool is also how we saw that uh, some users are switched really fast between apps uh, between the latest apps so basically what we did is we have a camera for example and I want to switch back to my gallery I just swipe from the right, right? So, I, I swiping from the right allows me to switch really fast between apps, right? Notes. The camera again. I can take a picture if I want to. And I go back to the gallery and the picture should appear there. There you go. See it? The controls. Oh, I want to delete this one. Uh, delete. Uh, delete. There you go. And that's it, right? So, now I want to get back to the home screen. And that's it. I have internet. Very nice.